Hello, welcome, what is good everybody? Tone here, and today we're gonna to be getting back into some enemy trench. We took a first look at this last time, and I'm looking forward to continuing our run here. Let's get right into that. <clears throat> All right, we picked up on level seven here, and this game like spiked up in difficulty in a huge way on the past few levels, uh, in particular with the addition of these riflemen, which can dish out a serious amount of damage. Uh, I did start investing into my Vitality, so we have a pretty good health pool to soak some hits. But it is costing a uh, big tax on our resources here. Well, I'm actually only down to two health packs. Unfortunately, I do see two more on the ground here, which is going to be very helpful. Uh, and it, increasingly, it seems like entering these levels is very dangerous, which is probably appropriate. Um, I could see <laughs> it's a bit of an emergent uh, narrative thing, but like, you know guards like guarding the entrances and exits and stuff um so having a safe uh, entrance should not be guaranteed probably um but the way the movement of enemies and stuff works in this it seems like you can often uh, engage enemies like one at a time or very cautiously at the very least like one room at a time as you were exploring but sometimes you enter these new floors you could be surrounded from the get-go uh, there's only two enemies here, which isn't too bad. So we're going to pick up this rifleman first because they are the uh, biggest threat here. Um, let me turn down... Oh wait, I need to shoot first. I'm going to turn down the audio one because it looks like those ticks are a little loud. I think someone said the music was quiet, so I'm going to turn that up one as well. Let's give that a try. I think the music does have some loud points. Um, so we'll see if I have to undo that, but for now we'll work with that. Let's see, I did four damage to the rifleman. They shot me back. No, I did two damage. They shot me for four. And that time I crit them for 12. We get a pretty good number of crits here, and I wonder if that's because of our decks. I have seven dexterity. All right, let's deal with this scout. Reload our weapons, grab these health packs. These health packs have gotten more efficient as I've increased my vitality. I think the last one healed us for like 20 something. The heart is a health pack. The purple circle is a rock. I don't know what rocks do. They might just be flavor. I can pick them up. I don't know what I can do with them. Maybe we'll find like a slingshot or something at some point. I'm not sure. The green semicolons are rifle ammo. Oops, I gave that rifleman a free move, which if I keep doing that, that will be our downfall. Um, but we picked them off before they get a shot back. So, no punish, not punished there. Inventory is full, I don't think so. Double scouts, pick them off like a no problem. This is their what gun, right? Pistol, yeah. in here. Oh, I am out of ammo. Ooh, not punished. Getting lucky that these rifle men are trying to reposition instead of fire on me immediately. J 
just remember to keep reloading. Diggers aren't that much of a threat, um, but unless I swap to a melee weapon, which is a little tedious, um, they they can do damage to me. I don't I like kill them in one hit in combat when I'm when I'm holding my rifle, um, and rifle ammo is plenty, so I may as well just keep shooting on them. All right, feeling a lot more comfortable picking up all these health packs on this level. So we're gonna go down this long corridor. Oh, wow, he only hit me for one hit point. Oh, why did I move forward one more time? Okay, I took out those threats. Uh, let's reload, and I think I will Equip my rifle with the bayonet to take out these scouts. I'll lure them into the corridor. Easy. So equip my rifle that does more damage. Reload to full. They fired but missed on me, the rifleman there. We're doing really well on this level so far. Just moving very cautiously as we explore the enemy trench here. This is the exit. We have a pretty good distribution of ammo and health packs. There's probably no reason to explore too much here. Unless I did want to find more health packs. There's one right there I think I may as well try and pick up. Uh, experience is a good reason. Maybe I should just full clear for the experience. That's probably what we'll do. That's a very good reason actually. Okay, that's the whole level anyways. There's just one more scout left. All right, on to level eight. There's something I've never seen before over here. A throwing knife, that sounds neat. Now let's pick off these scouts. my whole clip to take them out. I took about 10 damage there. Pick up the throwing knife.
Oh. So I just tried to equip the throwing knife. It seems like it's that it's treated as a consumable. So I just tried to select it, but there's no target, so it wouldn't let me do anything. I think I can just go into my inventory and select the throwing knife, and I'll be able to throw it for free. It's probably how rocks work as well. I do wish they had a stat line there. I don't know how much damage um, either of those do. Let's throwing knife this uh, this digger. Whoa! A knife strikes the digger with a pierce that does 20 damage. All right, throwing knives are very good. Save those for some tough situations. It looks like it was consumed there. I don't get to pull it out of the corpse. So I'll drop some rifle ammo for some more throwing knives. Adding another good consumable here um, is definitely putting some strain on our inventory. These guys are getting tougher. I feel like I'm not doing as much damage. Missing what, about 25 hit points here? I think I can miss a little more before using a health pack. This is probably about how much I, I can heal, so. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till I take a little bit more damage though. There's probably not that much reason to wait though. Also, if I'm gonna start trading out some rifle ammo packs for throwing knives, um, I might wanna start reducing the amount of health packs we have because I actually have a lot of health packs now. Oops. And I think in a really difficult situation, I don't know if every throwing knife is gonna just like insta-kill something for 20 damage. But I think in a really difficult situation that the throwing knife could save us a lot more health than a health pack could. Like we end up with three or four riflemen on a screen and we just want to eliminate one immediately. Ooh, hit me for eight. Critical hit. What is this? Rev mod 1892? I think this is a new pistol. Well, I don't see any reason to take this over our rifle, but interesting to see. And a normal scout had that, I think. Unless it was just lying on the ground. No, because there's not another pistol here. They all have these rev mods. Before they had the MC something something. So I think the enemies are getting better here. All right, let's use a health pack here. Oh, that one only recovered five. <laughs> I was talking about how we might get like 25 from one. Nine. 14. Interesting. I thought we did get 20 at some point, but maybe that was just like a really high roll. I thought it was because I was investing into my dexterity. Or my uh, vitality. Which I'm sure had something to do with it, but it's not uh, nearly as reliable as I thought it might have been. Which means I'm not suddenly as comfortable with all these health packs as I thought I was.
See, the riflemen are still using the same rifles. They haven't upgraded yet. Oh, there's the exit. It was under some uh, loot. I had mixed feelings on how loot disappears when you're out of line of sight, but it actually is nice to just be able to see the entire environment, and including the stairs. Um, it could have taken forever to find uh, stairs under loot otherwise. Um, there are other solutions to something like that, like you could have like background highlights and, and stuff for the tiles, but I'm glad that I know that stair is there. Well, let's try throwing a rock at the next digger we see. Look at this, we have like a vault here. Little treasure room. All right, let's try the rock. With fear in the digger's eyes, the, the soldier stumbles. Oh, so that seems to be some kind of composure hit. Maybe he's confused. Interesting. So if I had realized that before and was, if I had, because we weren't seeing throwing knives yet, I could have been using the rocks earlier to kind of, um, it wouldn't remove a target, but it would make them less effective if I ran into like one of those like triple rifleman scenarios. I think opening with a rock could have been a strong play. Level up. Um, do we keep cranking our vitality? I think our vitality is decent right now. I might go back to increasing our decks. It is taking multiple shots to kill a lot of these riflemen. And I bet you at some point, composure is going to become very important. And if we fully neglect it, we might uh, regret that. That said, I don't think I can see myself upgrading composure anytime soon. Let's just make sure we're exploring every nook and cranny here. man just sitting guarding that door. Ooh, they did 12 to me that time. Go ahead and heal up. I want to recover 11, pretty good.
Empty, that was anticlimactic. All right, let's get on to the next level. All right, level nine. Whoops. I think that rifleman a free shot on me, but I got him back. Big ammo stockpile here. Men are still using that G98. Oh. I feel like that point of dex is really either I'm getting like just high rolling lately, but I've one shot everything, I think, since I put that point in. Scouts are also using the rev mod. I have to say, I feel like I am my own worst enemy. Giving all these enemies free shots on us. Inventory full. There's a health pack. I'll drop a rifle ammo pack. Do we have too many health packs now? What's my distribution here? I have 10 health packs. Looks like I have six rifle ammo packs. A rock and a couple throwing knives. Looks like a pretty good distribution. I think I'll just stick with how the distribution we have here. I am stockpiling rifle ammo a bit more than necessary. I do fear a bit for a time when we might need, like we, there might be like a shortage for some, one reason or another. Just walk into a room that has like three lying on the ground. Oh, that was a lot of damage for one turn. Seven from the Rifleman, eight from the Scout. Of course, when facing multiple enemies, I don't get any of those one shots. Use a bunch of health pack and then pick up some of these health packs that were lying on the ground. Any more over here?
We haven't seen so many guys in these corridors like that. Russellman just waiting at the end of a corridor. I guess he spawned like that because he's technically in a room and not inside like the corridor itself. Not even really a room, just some part of the trench, I guess. Five rifle ammo packs. Here is the exit. See, I want this throwing knife. Swap a health pack for it. And that looks like a full clear. Drop this rifle ammo pack that I think I might have been using. Oh wait, there's more corridor right here. is a full clear. Oh, I can't far look off screen, interesting. All right, something, <laughs> this ain't a normal level, I can tell that. Just looking in the the soundtrack here. It's pretty cool how an ASCII game can create this kind of atmosphere. This must be the gunner nests that we're here to take out. Heavy boss. I hit them for four. They shot me three times a miss and then did 
10 damage twice. I wonder if I can disorient them with a rock. Yeah, it says he stumbled. Let me throw some throwing knives at this guy. Oh, he's not in range. I'd have to get closer. Let me just lay in with my rifle for now while he's stunned then. Got him. Yo, the rock is OP. <laughs> so how much health do they have? 4, 8, 20, 27. Looks like we did about 30, 31 damage to kill them. So they probably have about 30 health. They dropped a mag 80 and two ammo packs for it. Heal up. The mag 80 shot damage is 10, but it looks like it chews more than one round. What else is this? Remains of the heavy boss. That was super cool. What a cool level design. Just a great use of the the atmosphere and the music and like seeing this giant trench, like something we've never seen before. It was just like very clear that we were like without even like directly telling us anything like I knew to be like cautious here and just from like all these other clues is next chapter two with the machine gunner now vanquished you leave the area upon leaving you notice a soldier on the floor and that he's one of yours after approaching him you discover the man is alive but very close to death he tells you he's gathered some german intelligence about an ambush planned in the forest by a well-trained sniper that one of the companies will soon be heading into they've set a trap he pleads with you to approach the forest from a different direction and to take out the sniper and those planning to set the trap before the company arrives. Realizing you're alone and any delay could lead to their deaths, you make your way to the muddy forest hoping to stop the sniper before it's too late. Ooh, interesting. Let me, uh, I'm definitely bringing a rock with me. I'll drop a throwing knife for the rock. That rock was incredibly useful. MG ammo pack. There are a lot of MG ammo packs here. Oh, maybe... This is a normal enemy type now. The heavy. I crit them for 12 and they did not die. And then he missed me three times. Oh, 
Okay, that's going to be a very dangerous threat. I still kind of like my rifle. So I don't know if I'm going to swap away from it, but I am going to collect these MG ammo packs. Maybe if I just get a lot of ammo for this thing, we'll, we'll swap over. Now the ammo that, from the one I picked up says 139 out of 250. Now I don't know how many, how much ammo like one turn of shooting consumes. I don't know how much an ammo pack refills. I don't know if it'll like shoot at multiple targets if like someone dies mid or is killed mid volley. Probably not because I choose the target. I think I'm gonna drop my LE rifle that I started the game with. And we just haven't been using it. If melee becomes important, I may regret that at some point, but it seems like I can just shoot at point blank and not really have any penalty. So I'm not too concerned about it. What the LE rifle looks like. Nice. What's interesting is everyone drops a gas mask, but we haven't seen a need for the gas mask yet. Level up. I feel like vitality could become very important now that we're seeing machine gunners. I want to put one more point in the decks though. I didn't use a health pack. Let's reload. So the mag has 139 out of 250. What happens if I use the MG ammo pack? I need to put in, I need to equip the mag first. Okay, so it put 20, going from 139 to 159. definitely load up all those that just freed up a lot of inventory space um, but let me keep the g98 equipped for now as well grab a few throwing knives That time he did three damage twice and no damage once. No damage three times. They have a lot of health too, which makes them dangerous. If I ran into two or three of them at once, that'd be a big problem. So I think that is a reason to use a, a better weapon like this Mag-80. Probably not necessary yet, but I'm assuming that we're going to see more and more of them as we go down um, on the future floors here.
quite low on rifle ammo. Well, there's four packs of it on screen now, so I guess that problem might be solved. Let's grab another rock. Full inventory. One might say I'm carrying too many throwing knives. I have like 10 throwing knives just like <laughs> trapped to my belt or something. Two rocks, bunch of health packs, an extra MG ammo pack. I've got four rifle ammo packs. I think I would want one or two rifle ammo packs. So maybe I drop two throwing knives. Seems like that would be the reasonable thing to do. I'll go ahead and Use this last MG ammo pack to fully reload my weapon. I'm gonna drop it, and replace it. Oh, you can't move with a machine gun. That is interesting. Oh, that's why when I hit the, the heavy boss with the rock, they didn't actually stumble around. They were fixed in place, but they were still stunned. So it basically always takes a turn to set that up. Very cool. Oh, that was a nasty double move. Although I didn't take any damage. I thought it looked like my damage went down. Or my health went down. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we're about to clear up some inventory space as I use some health packs. Kind of them to place uh, two health packs behind that guy. I wonder if a throwing knife will take out the heavies. Because we're actually seeing a lot of throwing knives on the ground. I feel like I could afford to use one, at least at the rate that heavies are spawning right now. I can afford to use one every time a heavy comes into view.
have to say I really like this stage of the game. Just, I, I still think it's a little bit like it'd be cool to have an, like a higher difficulty mode where maybe we got like get like half the resources on the ground because I feel like um, the game's being very generous to me with resources, but it's definitely not what I would say easy um, because I think if you played a little carelessly, a lot of these encounters would be very easy to die in. If if just three of like some combination of like heavies and. Uh, Riflemen showed up at the same time. Um, I think you can get into trouble real fast. Oh, speak of uh, <laughs> speaking of that. Um, two heavies, a rifleman, a scout, and a, a digger on a very wide trench. I think what I'm going to do is throw a rock at one of these heavies. I'm gonna throw a throwing knife at the other one. Actually, what did the throwing knife do? It looks like it auto-targets the nearest thing to you. Hit the scout, I just used three throwing knives. Um, Okay, it did insta-kill that heavy. Throwing dives do 20 damage every time, it looks like. So the throwing knife does 20 damage, but you can't pick your target. It seems like it targets the closest thing to you. Although, where was the scout? I thought that heavy was going to be closer to the scout, but I guess it wasn't. Well, we survived that. I think I should equip the the Mag 80 before going downstairs. That was my thought immediately as I entered that room. Speaking of being low on resources, we just used a lot for that encounter. What are these? No entity found. Must be some kind of terrain type. Oh, is that the forest? Maybe those are trees. What's our inventory distribution look like? About seven rifle ammo packs, a lot of health packs, a bunch of MG ammo packs, two rocks, and like two throwing knives. I'd probably like to trade out some of these MG ammo packs for some throwing knives and maybe some health packs. Test out the Mag 80. No damage, no damage, five hit points. No damage, no damage, two hit points. I gotta say, I'm not that impressed by it at the moment. Oh, but look at this, it only costs three ammo per shot. Or per volley. Very incredibly ammo efficient then. I wonder what stat improves the mag 80. 
It has zero aim, which is, I'm guessing, why it's missing and not doing as much damage as I would like it to. Probably just more decks, I'm assuming, is what would improve our use of it. Um, all right, let's reload. The mag 80. And then I'll drop that ammo pack out here. It has less ammo in it. Put my rifle again. Need to reload that a bit. Whoa, look at this. Double rifleman, 24 damage taken in a turn. 12 the following turns. How dangerous that was. Let's use some health packs here. Back down to two health packs. What is it? Is this terrain? Seems like it. Whoops, I do not want the pistol ammo. Oh, it's a mine. I wish Farlock told me that. <laughs> So I detonated the mine. Then I also was hit by the explosion. It's like two instances of damage. Oh, I guess who has no health packs? Can I throw a rock on the mine? No, it won't let me. I think I need to use my rocks and throwing knives more aggressively because I'm low on health packs now. There are mines all over. I wonder if enemies can walk onto them. The fact that they don't seem to be hidden, at least haven't stepped on one that I wasn't aware of yet. Okay, so yeah, I think those are trees. What is this? A sword? The time to start pumping our strength and become a melee character. I am out of health packs. There's the exit. Ooh, double hit from both riflemen for 12 again. I legit do not have any health packs, so our health attrition right now is very troublesome. Two heavies. Do 
throw some rocks. Uh, I think I'm gonna equip the Mag 80. Took them out. Took them out. So the first heavy I killed, I hit for 10 twice. The second one I hit for three and then 10, and then I had to hit for another 10. So they have between 14 and 20 hit points, it seems. Okay, I'll reload that. Sword, strength five. Does not say how much damage it does. It might be directly related to the strength score. Do I have five strength? I do. Because my rifle with the bayonet had strength two. Um, I think we're going to want some vitality now. Well, I got to say, having a lot of decks is really nice for picking off these riflemen. I thought it was a little weird that there's so many like mines here and we can see them all, but they do make it a little more interesting if we need to reposition. We can't just escape over a mine, but they also don't block line of sight like all the other things we've run into so far that would block movement. Look at that. The way the trees block line of sight, moving one step can really put you in some interesting... I don't think that digger was there on the previous turn. So before we'd be walking down tunnels and basically all the new sight lines would reveal enemies. They'd always just be at like the end of your vision. Now if I move past some trees, the enemies could really be almost anywhere. Uh, it's just really cool how that mixes up the kind of uh, situations we end up in. Heavy, I'm going to throw a rock at this dude.
Throw a rocket this heavy as well. Well, how strong rocks are in this game. Rock this heavy. Trying to get to these rifle ammo packs. With how open the forest it is, it's actually pretty hard to get to some of these resources. Not running into too many enemies. Like I was standing on a landmine. I wonder if they can walk on them freely because they're aligned with them, or if you just let a spawn on them. I have way too many MG ammo packs, probably I don't need to carry anymore. I'm gonna use the sword on this digger. 11 hit points. I don't. Melee seems pretty bad in this, unless you're fighting other melee troops. And even then, you may as well shoot them for free. Because if I like hide behind a tree, the guys don't move. They just stand there. Um, so I don't know how you take advantage of melee in this game. I definitely like the idea that there can be a variety of play styles. Like if we were playing one of the other classes and we wouldn't have like the dexterity to use the the rifle here, maybe we'd be using the pistol more. But we would have like more health and stuff to, to take advantage of. Um, okay, I don't need two swords. Actually, maybe I do. <laughs> This dual wield and swords. Okay, riflemen are still using the G98 here. Do I need throwing knives? Use a couple throwing knives. seven rifle ammo packs. I'll grab an eighth here and that probably feels pretty good for rifle ammo. Which is becoming a little less common now that there's like MG ammo in the picture. Okay, inventory's full. I'm gonna drop probably all of these MG ammo packs. Considering I get almost a hundred shots out of the current one I'm holding. We're gonna pick up some rocks, health packs. I think I do need to clear this forest. If for nothing else, the XP. Seems like there's a ton of XP here. Um, I should use some of these healing packs as well. Hmm. 
Let's use out of health packs again. I don't know if it's intentional. And this could be seen as like a... Like, almost like a UI, UX kind of, uh, like, negative. But the scouts are like a similar color to the trees, so they almost blend in a bit. And I actually like the effect <laughs> that that adds to the game. Even though improving readability should be like a, a, top, like a big priority for games like this. Um, and it's something I usually like advocate for. I actually kind of like that they blend in a little bit. Like I know that's normally just like not a good thing, but for some reason it just kind of adds to the like immersion of this game. Oops. Need to pick up this ammo pack. Oh, there's a scout here I didn't see. Told you, they're, they're blending in. Popping out from behind the trees. Part of that because I was looking at the edge of my vision, but that guy actually showed up from like right behind the tree I was walking past that was closer to me. It's kind of like what I was talking about before, how you, while exploring this forest, the way the sight lines work is you can end up in enemies in uh, more interesting positions. Oh! <laughs> Scout detonates a mine. Poor thing. Too excited about the health pack and see the riflemen. Did enough damage to me to take care of like two or three health packs. That guy took a lot of hits. Oh. There's a landmine under the health pack. That's rude. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, look, 22. Twenty-two health recovered. That's the only time we beat probably higher than like fifteen or sixteen health in this whole session today. Ooh. Double rifleman. Only took one damage from that encounter miraculously.
Wow. Did not see that guy. I had to look around a bit even after getting shot by him. All right, looks like I have like nine rifle ammo packs. That's plenty. Let's try and load up on health packs and other consumables. Inventory is full. All right, I'm gonna drop the MG ammo packs. Grab these two health packs. I have four rocks. Five throwing knives. I think I need, I want like a lot of health packs. So I'm gonna drop two of these rifle ammo packs. I think I'm gonna drop the sword. I'll grab these rocks until I find more health packs. Oops. Throw a rock at the gunner. The cool of strength determined rock throwing range. Same thing with throwing knives. It might, I don't know if it does or not, but that would be a cool bonus from the strength stat. Tell you what, we are a menace in this forest. gonna walk into the uh, landmine. Oh, they're gonna go out of line of sight, never mind. Snipers are going to be scary, which is, I guess, what like the next boss type is going to be, from the sounds of the Chapter 2 intro. I wonder if they're going to be able to shoot us from like outside of our own line of sight or something like that. Leveled up. Uh, I'm going to raise my vitality even more.
gunner up there. Let's rock him. Gave that gunner a free shot. There's a scout off to the side too. So let me stun the gunner, snipe the scout. Try to take out this gunner. That is my last rifle ammo pack. Let's go pick up some, some of those. Too many rocks, probably. Rock the heavy, take out the scouts, take out the heavy. That's a full explorer of the forest. Use some health packs. Cover 24. Um, I did notice that we didn't explore the trench to the left down here. It was a little weird coming back in the trench after being out in the forest, but let's see. It'd be nice if there was just a reload button that reloaded your current weapon. Maybe just with whatever the top um, ammo pack in your inventory is or something. I was stunned for a long time. Um, I was concerned that they were going to become unstunned. Yeah, I think that is a full clear of this level. That was a long fight, or a long level. This forest is huge. Leave any health packs on the ground. No, I think we were low on health packs for this whole map, so I probably picked up all of them. Don't avoid setting off the landmine. Got lucky there. Um, don't want to rearrange like how many packs of ammo we have, rocks, the ring knives. Pretty good. Where was that exit? There it is. 
Right, this is a little longer video because that was a pretty long floor. Oh my gosh, I set up a landmine just before we go. Um, but we are going to leave this here. That was super fun. I guess I should go to the next area just because I'm not completely sure how saving works. Okay, it takes us back down into a trench. Whoops, I, uh... <laughs> I fully uh, exited by accident. Let me reopen that and make sure we get to uh, reload where I left off. Pardon the black screen here for a moment. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to leave that in. Okay, it left off exactly where we were. Menu is the one I should have hit. Quit really means quit. Um, I had a blast with uh, Enemy Trench here. I, I think the it really excels for a ASCII traditional roguelike at the immersion and atmosphere, I think. Um, I really like the introduction of new enemy types, like the heavy. Um, now that I know how the consumables work, that's a lot more fun. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and you have to play really carefully because you can take a lot of damage pretty quickly. You, we can even see I'm not even able to keep up with health packs at the moment. Um, I think the one thing I would like to see with this game probably is I feel like I do have way too many uh, drops and consumables to work with. Um, it'd be a little more interesting for me if I could work around those, but... I feel like that could be like a higher difficulty mode or something. I don't really think the base game needs to change, but for me... Um, I do feel like I'm just getting showered in resources, um, and there's like just a lot of stuff to use. Uh, but nevertheless, this game is pretty sweet so far, and I guess I'm looking forward to our next session here. We are going to keep running uh, going forward and running this back and seeing how we do in the Chapter 2 here in the forest. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching here today. Uh, do check out the links in the description below. You can find my Patreon down there if you want to share some support for me and my work there. That's patreon.com slash tonehack. You can also find me at Discord. There's a link down there. If you want to come and hang out with me and the rest of the community there, come stop by. Otherwise, that is it for now. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you all next time. Take it easy, everyone.